Hey girls, so I just wanted to do a really quick nail tutorial. I actually wasn't going to film this at all, um, but last minute I decided to, so um, it's kind of already done, but we're going to kind of go with it. So I'm going to show you guys how I did this um, butterfly wing nail design. So that's what the finished product looks like. And I used um, a bunch of holographic polishes to kind of make it shimmer. So let me just go over what I use. So first off, the plate we're using is this plate from Nail Craze, and it is NC01. And of course, we're going to use these butterfly images. Um, let me show you the polishes I used. For my base coat, I used um, my Nail Nation 3000 Skunk Base Coat, which is amazing. It's just a really sticky base. Um, it's amazing. And then um, before I painted my nails, I used um, this uh, polish from Color Club. It's called Cherubic. You can't really see it. It's kind of blurry. But it's just a very neutral holographic polish. I wanted something that's kind of neutral as my base that um, would make these colors pop. So that's what I used. And then for my gradient, I used these three colors from Color Club. Um, the pink I used is called um, Miss Bliss. The purple I used is called um, Eternal Beauty. It's kind of blurry, so you guys can't see it. And then the blue I used is called um, Over the Moon. So those are the three I used as my gradient, and all I do is um, cut off a piece of makeup sponge, and then I just apply the three colors and kind of um, just go over my finger like that and go back and forth. And I used two coats, so I did two layers um, on each finger. And I'm going to actually do it on these two, so this is what it's going to look like um, when you're done with your gradient. So it's just going to be a big old blobby mess. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you guys how I do my cleanup. So all I do is get um, some polish remover. I have like one of those little pumpy things. And um, I'm just going to get it on a Q-tip. And then you just kind of clean up around it just like this. Get the majority of it. Um, not all of it because we're going to be stamping over it. So um, you're going to use that. Um, use it again as cleanup for the stamping. I'm totally not in camera, sorry. So um, just kind of get most of it off of your nail, kind of like this. And then I'll do it on the thumb really quick. As you guys can see, I am so sorry, I keep going out of camera. Um, it comes off really easily, so I just get a Q-tip um, with the polish remover and then just kind of go over... Um, around my nail to get all of that mess off and it's super easy just like I said get most of it I actually use a um, a brush let me show you so I use this little tool here with the brush on one end and then it's got a daughter to kind of get into the creases um, so we'll do that once we do the stamping so um, let's go ahead and do the stamp. So like I said, we're using this plate from Nail Craze, and this is plate one. And we're going to be using these smaller butterfly images up here. Um, these ones are good for like your toes or people that have like longer nail beds. Mine are really short, so I'm just going to use the smaller ones. And then um, I'm going to stamp in Conad um, Special Polish in black. And then you just need a scraper or a stamper and then a scraper. I just use a plastic card so I don't scratch my plates. So let's go ahead and apply. And then actually what I did on top of this is I applied um, a layer of top coat. I haven't done it on this finger, but I went ahead and did it on this one so you guys can see. It just kind of smooths out the image um, for you. So... All right, let's put this. Um, usually when I stamp, I don't apply polish to the whole image because um, once you scrape it, it drags. But for bold images like this, I like to do it. And with this, you're going to scrape really softly. Um, otherwise, you're going to scrape the image right off. So there is your image. And then what you're going to do is you're going to align um, the sides here. 
and then just roll it across. And then see how it's kind of lifted up like that? You're gonna just press those pieces down, just like that. And then, um, let's see here. Okay, and then we're gonna do that one more time um, with the other finger. And scrape really lightly. And then you're going to pick up the image, make sure it's there, and then go ahead and line it up. You want some of the black piece on the bottom. I just don't want to cover up all of the blue, so I'm just being very careful on my placement. And then just roll it. So you've got that like hangy part there, and then you just want to press it down. Just like that. Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is clean up a little bit. This special Conad polish in black um, takes a little bit to come off, so sometimes I'll use pure acetone with that. Okay, now to get your um, image precise, because like if you look in the corner, see how it's kind of missing? You have to align it just right. Um, but if you don't, that's okay. I'll show you a quick little fix that we can do um, to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. I'm just trying to take off some of this. Okay. Um, so next what you're gonna do is um, I have this little tiny, let me move this out of the way. I have this little tiny brush here that I'm gonna use to actually fill in um, some black where I want it. And I'm just gonna use my favorite black which is um, Finger Paints Black Expressionism. And then you're just gonna drop a little bit onto your plate and then use that as like your palette. So you're gonna grab a little bit and then um, you're just gonna fill in, like I like to pull the skin tight on the sides so you can really get in there. And I'm super shaky, so this was kind of hard for me. So you're just gonna fill in what you want. And then on the side here, I liked mine to come out a little bit farther. Um, so I'm just going to fill that in on the side. So I'm just gonna grab, see how shaky I am? Just gonna grab the brush and just kind of fill in um, where you want the extra polish. So just like that. And then the same thing um, with this finger. So you're just gonna kind of um, pull that skin, like I'll lean it against um, the table like this and pull tight. And then you can kind of see into that corner. So then you can kind of fix the image how you want it. Okay. And then I'm going to extend that part out right here. All right, just like that. So then you kind of get, um, fill in all the little pieces that you missed. And then um, what you guys are gonna do is I just grabbed my Milani um, High Speed Fast Dry in white on the spot. And you guys are going to need a couple different size dotting tools. So I just grabbed these two. So you're just going to um, drop some polish again on your plate anywhere there's an empty spot. And then um, you're going to pick up some polish here and then you're just going to um, dot it wherever you want the dots. And then I'll go to the thumb. And you wanna do a couple um, different size dots, so that's why I'm using um, a small one and a larger one. I can't get this, there we go. 
and kind of stagger them a little bit. And then get the smaller one and just fill in the spaces where you didn't get the other dots. And then you can see it's more looking like um, a butterfly wing. One more down here. There we go. Um, actually, let me put one more up top here. All right, and then um, what I do lastly is get that little tool I was telling you guys about and just dip it in some polish remover. And then you can really get into the creases that way. So I love this brush for cleanup. Like I use the bigger, like the Q-tip um, to get like the bigger parts because otherwise you'll be sitting there forever with this. But then with the smaller um, precise parts, I get... Oh my gosh, I keep going off of this thing. I'm sorry, guys. It's like super late and I'm doing this, but hey, I figured I would share it and see if you guys like it. Okay, and then I'm just going to get, I got a little bit of the dots on my skin, so I'm just going to clean that up. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, and then I'm just gonna wait for these two to dry and then apply a layer, oh, look at this. <laughs> apply a layer of top coat and there you guys go. So that is my butterfly wing gradient nails that I just kinda um, did really quick and wanted to show you guys. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you try it. And if you do, just um, post a picture and tag me into your Instagram. I would love to see them. So yeah, thank you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.